Uh, who is going to try and get the information from him? From Lucius? Yeah. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, he greets you. You can see he's taking out some of Alexandria's things, um, like in a bucket, all the racist things. And when you come up to him, he's got like a, a little tear in his eye. Um, as he like puts some like, I don't know, what he thought was elven dancewear and he's muttering to himself. He really, really did love all these decorations I left him. <laughs> I'm sure he did. Um, Genevieve kind of just pats him and um, she uh, looks around and she says, um, you, don't, you don't happen to know where um, Algier lives, do you? Well, I knew where he lives, but that was out by uh, where um, he used to live out in the outskirts, but it was kind of destroyed. Let's see if I remember. Make a, a, a charm test to see if you can get him. This is a very, uh, this is a trivial charm test. Because he does seem like he's trying to hold something back from you as he's explaining. Okay. Charm, trivial. Oh, well. I heard he was staying with that token girl. And yeah. she lost her husband in the mine, I guess he... And his house burnt. Guess he's staying with them. Oh, my bestie. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she says, uh, she's like, oh, thank you, Lucius. And she's like, uh, and she says, um, uh, um, and she says, uh, I don't clear too many things out of Alexandra's room. There's some stuff there that I want to keep. He's like, you want this traditional elven dance necklace? <laughs> she, 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 um, she says, um, uh, no, no, that's fine. And uh, she, she makes her way out. Right. Yeah, so uh, if I can, I think her name, oh my God, I should know this. Uh, is Amelia. Amelia. I knew it was like Emily or something. Yeah, Amelia. Yeah, so I would tell the guys that she's at uh, Amelia's place and uh, guide them there. Okay, yeah. well, uh, we'll follow. Um, yeah, you come, uh, you come to the place and, you know, the doors are closed and shuttered, but you can hear noises from inside. Oh, God. Cue the cops intro song. No. <laughs> <laughs> she uh, she knocks on the door. Uh, you hear a voice from inside. Go away. Uh, it, so this is when she huffs because if anybody knows Genevieve and how she is with Amelia, they know. They know. <laughs> and she says, she says. Uh, she she huffs. She kind of stands her hair like straight back, and she's like, "If you do anything to my precious Amelia, I'll strangle you." <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> uh, he says, "Go away!" Don't you tell me to go away. Where is my Where is my precious angel Amelia? What have you done to her? <laughs> um, you hear a strained voice say, "Everything's fine." Go, go, go on, Genevieve. I'm fine. Uh, and then all of a sudden, her her voice goes really, really light and nice, and she's like, "Oh, hi!" And she says, "Um, uh, um." By the way, you don't see anybody. They're like talking through a door. Yeah, I know. <laughs> she says, "Um, she says, oh, Amelia, it's good to see you. Um, I need to talk to Al Algier. He doesn't have to be be in there, do you?" 
Uh, no, just some old friend in here. <laughs> I know what's happening, but can <laughs> be so dense. Okay, um, so she's just like, uh, and she says, your old friend doesn't happen to know who Algier is, do you? Because I need to talk to him about a couple of matters. Nope, go away. <laughs> do I recognize the voice, by the way? I never. Oh, did you hear his voice? I mean, it's gruff. It's yeah, it's gruff. It's like somebody uh, trying to change their voice. You know, the kind of people that wear masks. Oh my god. Um, I like in real life, obviously. You know. He has a Batman voice. <laughs> yeah, he's doing his best. Um, she's like, Algier, is that you? <laughs> nope, go away. <laughs> this isn't gonna like end. <laughs> I'm just. Uh, I'm gonna give you. You don't get a feeling that they're gonna be like, "Yeah, you got me." At this point, so. So, um, she's like, um, she's like, I don't feel like breaking down precious Amelia's door. So you better come out, Mister. <laughs> Try and intimidate. Make it hard. <laughs> okay. Would anyone else like to try and end this standoff? <laughs> In any other way? Uh, go ahead and make your roll. All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look at that terribleness. Um, he says, uh, well, guess I'm not running anyways. And uh, the door, like, creaks open. You see the little child um the one that it costed nash uh standing mm -hmm. there as she opened the door and uh the child looks frightened and when you look in um you see your friend amelia and the uh uh with algier standing behind her with his uh signature scythe uh around her neck so she immediately like she she kind of pats the kid's head and then she goes to Amelia and give her a hug because of course she does this. And then um, <laughs> she like squeezes her friend way too hard. And, then, and wait, then wait. Like, yeah. you go up and squeeze your friend that she has a. I'm sorry, she has a scythe like around her throat, like. Oh, she has a scythe. I didn't know that. By the guy. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess I missed. Oh, oh, I missed the thing. I was like, wait, you're going to, wait, you're going to squeeze your friend, but. <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute. Yeah, uh, he's holding her with a, a the scythe around her. Neck. Oh my God, why are you trying to piss off Genevieve? Oh my God, sister mode activate. Sister like too much mode has activated, and she like cracks her knuckles at, at Algier, and she's like, "How dare you accost the beautiful, precious Amelia? Do you want to die?" Hey, don't don't take another step. Or I'm gonna do it. Come on. Uh, are any of us? In the vicinity, I like, are we? I with... imagine you're all there. Yeah, I, I imagine yeah. you went there. Yeah, I imagine you guys are right behind me, guys. Yeah, with a couple soldiers too. So this is like a situation. R Rasmussen is very slowly going to draw his flintlock, and you not make any sudden movements, but he's getting ready to gun this guy down if he has to. So. Yeah, she 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 looks at Algier and she she says um she says I I wasn't here to do anything to you. I was just here to talk. He says I don't care. You you failed me. Oh, after oh. all I've done for you. Excuse me, you failed me. Mister attacked me while I investigate my own manner. You didn't even care that he was gone. Who was gone? What are you talking about? Are um, you talking about yeah. our hunt, the hunter? Yeah, he gets angry and he says, of course. And like at that I point, I did you know, go investigate and guess what? I found out he was murdered. I don't know by whom or what, but I know where his body was and where it was dragged to. 
So, mister, mm. I did look into you what you're in your inquiry. So, if you please put down that site right now. <laughs> um, make an intimidate. This is a normal check, but it's, um, yeah, it's a normal check. Okay. Uh, intimidate. All right. But the uh, the effect is not is not very good. <laughs> I matched it. Um, that's a pass. Yay. Um, yeah, it's not quite the crit of him. He'll drop the scythe. But mm-hmm. He will tell you information. Um, you you talk you, and he says, "No, it was your damn mother." She lured him into the woods. She's the one who put some idea in his head. And he could be some kind of, I don't know, god or something. Some god of the forest. Oh, Genevieve gen- genuinely looks really confused. And she, um, she says... My mother told him this? She's the one who let him out. Are, are we talking about the same woman here? <laughs> uh, she kind of shakes her head and she says, um, "Did when you talked to the hunter before I, I, he told you this, when did he tell you this? How long ago was this? He didn't tell me I saw it. It was before he disappeared. When did you see it? Oh, gosh. This is actually a really long time ago. Um, yeah, it's right before he disappeared. So this would have been like a month and a half ago. And where um, did you see it? Where did you see it? I saw her walking off into the into the woods. And like he gestures kind of like with his... Um, with his head, he looks over. Um, if anyone wants to like try and shoot him, that's your shot. Um, but he looks over in um, like gestures with his head towards the mine. Okay, that looks that is really weird. Okay, um, she looks extremely dumbfounded or so, at that, and then she says that. Mother's never been interested in the mine. That's strange. Why didn't you tell me this before? Because I didn't think it had. I didn't think he'd go. Or I don't know what he was doing. I put it together myself. And as far as I know, you're responsible too. Well, that's stupid then you're responsible just as much because you <laughs> tell me that information. So whose else is this? Okay. Make a intimidate Arduous <laughs> and um, call this like um, yeah, call this like a yeah. Basically this is like the opposite of a, you know, fail forward type thing. Yeah, yeah, this yeah. This is a, yeah, you get what I'm saying. Yeah. Um, it's not a crit fail, so that's good. Yeah, he growls and snaps at you. Enough. Everyone, get out of the way. I'm leaving. And I swear, if you move, she gets it. Uh, He's taking Rasmussen is just going to look to Genevieve to see... You know, does she want him to take a shot or? Um, um, she doesn't seem to be willing to want him to be killed because I think that if if she like if he gets hurt, I think it'd just be a loss. I think he has more information that she just doesn't know about. So she says to him, "All right, Algier, I'll let you leave without any without anything to you." But if you're going to do do this town any good, you better tell me more that you know. He says, you've already failed me once. I heard you even failed your friend. 
I'm just going to fail again. Especially without the green man to protect you. And he keeps, like, walking out towards the door. Um, yeah, she doesn't stop him. She kind of, like, holds her hand up for Rasmussen and shakes her head, like, don't shoot him. And then she calls out and she says, um, and she says, uh, and she says, uh, to him, she says, um, uh, Sometimes we have to work without the green man. Because if I'm going to fail, at least I fail trying. Yeah, not trying hard enough. That's um, your assumption. And then she kind of like dumps her foot and she says, and she says, uh, uh, and, and she's like, she says, uh, she's like, um, if you're going to assume the green man not helping me, then good riddance. Because if the green man who, who I knew was able to help me, he was able to, to, do, to do what's right for this town, not to selfishly do whatever he wanted. Um, yeah, you're still engaging him, so there's a lot of risk here. Make an arduous uh, charm test. To sort of represent uh, the fact you're engaging with a crazy, crazy person who's clearly quite, un, you know, or someone who's un unstable. Yeah, he's uh, the zero. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think it is. His words just kind of fly off over his head. Yeah, I don't think he cares, and I think he's like trying to get to a point to where he can um, duck in. And, and sort of try and run through the town and go wherever, I guess. Who knows where he's going to head. Um, does anyone want to try and chase or pursue him? No. Ross Houston will simply put away the flintlock and look to Genevieve and say, what an unpleasant man. <laughs> she, she kind of frowns and she says, he's going to get himself killed is what. Uh, he simply not. So she looks at Rasmuna and Rutherford and everybody, and she says, "What if he said was right?" In what um, way? Would anyone like to take a scrutinized test and see if they can feel if they or not he was lying? It is a uh, not sorry. Sorry, I'm just egotistical enough to realize that I'm the only person that and everybody can refer to. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, that's Rasmussen, that's Nero, Rutherford, that's Griffey, and everyone. I'm the only one left. <laughs> um, yeah, if you don't think scrutinize scrutinizing in, in the time and it's a uh, routine. Everything goes over my head. I'm too busy Unless thinking to about what's for dinner. <laughs> Unless you want to reward. Yeah, you don't. You don't know the people well enough. Um, but Rasmussen does, and Rasmussen, as this, as disjointed from reality as this individual seems, um, you get the feeling that he was telling. The, sorry, I get the feeling that he was telling the the truth. The truth, yep. Okay. Uh, I will vocalize uh, as much to Genevieve. He believes that what he's saying is the truth. So if he believes he saw my mother tell the hunter that he can be some kind of god of the forest, my question is, why would my mother do that. I'm just gonna well, throw this out there. Have you ever considered that maybe your mother's a whore? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I mean, Genevieve, no. Genevieve, no. I, out of player, yes. <laughs> no, no, I Genevieve. said that I said that in character. Oh, oh no, in character, no, she'd probably be like, what? No, she's an angel. 
<laughs> I'm just throwing out there. From what I've heard, your mother likes to get around. I'm not trying to shame. I'm not trying to shame. It's a gun groovy time. One man. One man. One man. Well, as I One understand boy. it, two men. If only I got to this town sooner. I mean, there's the man that isn't in town right now that apparently you call daddy. And then there's the man that lives out in the forest. It's already two men. If she in fact said what he thinks she said, she must have had her reasons. Yeah, but uh, sidestepping the whore thing, because that makes, makes no sense. Why would she tell a guy that? Mm -mm, I don't know. <laughs> um, why would she tell the hunter like that he was a god of anything? Like, what, what was what was the purpose in that? Like, who... pillow talk. Pillow talk. No. Uh, I suspect she was working an angle that no one else knew about, and the only way we're going to get solid answers is by finding her, which means that she is increasingly becoming a priority. We need to find her, which means that. We're back to considering whether we want to get back to the mine. Uh, I'm increasingly thinking that that's probably the next logical step yeah, for us. That's my, my yeah. idea. Because out of character, I feel like she's there. Yeah. And yeah. for all this, it's like the. Look, let's not it's kid like ourselves. The nexus of everything <laughs> bad is just coming could, out of the earth. Could be the reason why Brutus was looking for her, too. Well, and that remains the sort of the concern in the back of my mind, because he's gone to extraordinary lengths to find her. If he if she is now in his clutches, that's going to spell bad news for all of us. So in spite of the fact that it's very likely going to be bloody, I think that the mine has to be our next. All righty then. We gotta start prepping for that and figuring out how we're gonna do that. Um, so as like on a game note, we'll obviously yeah, we're not gonna get to assaulting the mind tonight. Mm -hmm. yeah, um, yeah. Why don't you guys um let's spend the rest of the session doing our preparations and figuring out whatever plans so I can make sure to be adequately prepared for next time. Um, and, uh, yeah, do some mass combat, uh, or maybe not. We well, guess we'll find out when we get to the mine. Can I'm I, thinking, sorry, go ahead. Can I roll a warfare to figure out the best possible way to, like, possibly assault the mine? That's so funny, because I was just about to say... Can, can Genevieve do a warfare check to figure out the best way to approach the mine? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> do we still have the map of the mine? Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, I imagine so. All right, I'll just write that down in my trappings to keep note of it. Make a normal warfare check. Yeah, I know that's what I was doing. Make sure it was standard. God damn it, I will re-roll. Okay. <laughs> good, good, good. <laughs> Unlikely I'm gonna get to use these today. Oh my god. Come on. This is actually him encouraging yeah. you to use up all those rolls so he can attack us in the last ten minutes. I know. <laughs> like a last oh my god, just barely. I'll take that though. I won't do it anymore. Nice. That, works. that works. That works. So, I mean, your best strategy is is the way the mine is set up. Um, I think you are already on it. Is 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 across? Um, is it not approached by the road? They're probably watching the road and mm -hmm. attempt a, a frontal assault as quickly as you can. If they have like actual fortifications. You, you're doomed. There, you'll you'll never be able to break them with with what you have. Um, is, you know, but from what you've seen of them and how they fight, you might doubt that a little bit. 
But really what you need is you need a scout. You just don't know what you're up against. You're fighting blind. You could arrive there, and they could have built a castle, for all you know. Um, mm -hmm. So I think the, the results of this warfare check are your original plan seems pretty uh, seem pretty solid to, like, Grenstock when you go over it. Mm -hmm. um, if you, like, tell them we're going to prepare for an assault. Um, and, but, the, like... And the thing is, that's like in your mind is, we don't know how many how many of them there are, and we don't have any good intelligence, so, so that is a big worry. Yeah, yeah. So uh, I'm wondering, is there any way for us to perhaps reconnoiter using the river? Like, is the river close enough to the mine that we could get a sense of what's going on, without actually getting on land? Yeah. Um, the river is starting to uh, to freeze up a little bit, but it's still traversable. Um, Horse Face doesn't have the ferry, but there still is the dinghy that Anton had. I mean, if we, if we can recruit a scout to go and just look, that would probably be good. Send Marsha. <laughs> Nah, she come back and and tell you that there's, there's a million there. demons coming for your soul. <laughs> yes, exactly. She would totally be unhelpful. Oh, she was like best character in this all. <laughs> Who was? You're gonna burn. You're gonna burn in fire. I think Jeff anyway. is the best character my, of all. My, my my problem is who do we trust to do the scouting? If not, it has to be one of us to do the <laughs> Well, Ramon is small. <laughs> Ramon. <laughs> so Ramon. I'm thinking he might have an easier time not being seen. I'm just speculating. I don't Rasmussen know for sure. bears the most similarity to a tree. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> If not, I'll do it. I'll try to do it. I can scout the area. Rasmussen is the sneakiest, too. Am I? But he's, but he's also the slowest, and that's my concern. Like, if he gets, like, cornered... Because at least Genevieve could, like, literally run to her horse and jump on it and, like, race the fuck out. If he yeah. gets caught. Oh yeah, there's a path along the river on that side that I took when running away from the beastman the first time. Mm hmm Because there's that path where the donkey is. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, Rasmussen doesn't even have a point in stealth, so Oh, I thought you did because you went up and burned down the field. Because you're always yeah. hiding and shit. <laughs> I was, bush. yeah, and I rolled really well on my stealth check, so that's, you know, that I got away with it, but it doesn't mean I'm any good at it. Well, I mean, the problem here is that we all now have experience with you being good at it. <laughs> so despite you mechanically not being good at it, in character point of view, you're good at it. I suppose. Just like how you're always using a pistol, but you're not trained in it, and you always miss. Yeah, it's uh, it's loud and messy, and I usually miss, and then get into a, uh, a knockdown drag out. It's like if the first time you did something, you pulled off a miracle. After that, everyone's going to assume you're just a miracle worker, and you're going to be trying to avoid <laughs> doing it all <laughs> any time ever again. And to be fair, you did, like, shoot Jeb, like, three times in a row with your pistol. Yeah, that's so. true. That's true. I like to think that was his power of hatred of Jeb. <laughs> I would tend to agree, yes. The power of hate. That fucker still has my knives. Somewhere in his back. No, I'm pretty sure I threw him in his front. Busy like casting some wizardy uh, man witch spells. That or is waving hello. 
You guys are bad at killing people. <laughs> Dude, I got yeeted. You fucking yeeted me at fucking Anton and shanked the motherfucker to death in a boat. Right, but That's... did you kill him or did I kill him? No, he killed him. He killed Anton. Yeah. Sir, I remember I threw him and then I threw a knife. You know, in yeah, the you order that you me do at things. Selma. You knocked Selma out with me. Yeah, that's how badass Nash was. He knocked people out with other people. <laughs> Pretty badass. Yeah, it was a shame to see him go. No <laughs> yeah, well, I mean, you trade off, right? Also, not really a trade off when it's just a random roll. Yeah, it's true. I deal with what I uh, get. When I read that, I was like, fuck. <laughs> I was just glad. To think about how this card went. I was just glad you read it, huh? and I didn't have to par parse it all out like I did with Nash. It's like, okay, I rolled a fifty-two on this, which means this, and then I rolled a seventeen on this, which means this. Yeah. Because that time I just rolled it all at night, and then went to bed, and then you had parsed it yourself by the time I woke up. Yeah, it's because I remember reading that and being like, "Fuck, <laughs> card rope." Anyways, um, so are we are we gonna attempt a, a quick scouting mission? Yeah, I, yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm willing. You're gonna go be a horse and 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 try. Yeah, I'm gonna try to be on horse as much as possible, and then like the like get off the horse um, re- a little bit. Can I recommend something? Yes. Put me in your backpack. <laughs> Sounds I mean, a bad idea. Not. I just mean that you're yeah. highly mobile. I'm probably not too bad at to looking at things. I'm just saying. Yeah. yeah, and the fact that if you get out of there, I get out of there. It's pretty easy. Yeah, yeah. Why not? Come along. Awesome. Put me in the papoose. So as, as you as you ride with the murder cloud in your backpack. You're fucking playing Pokemon here. <laughs> um. Yeah, you get to the. Um, well, let's make a stealth check because we're just going to kind of, uh, you know, narrativize as much as we can. Make a stealth. Um, see how successful our approach is. Okay, uh, your your approach is extremely successful. Um, yeah, make an easy awareness test as you get them early in the morning while they're still drinking. Oh my god, I knew it. I knew they were drunk. What? Seriously? <laughs> cool. This really worked out. I'm glad we did this. Fortune point. <laughs> um, yeah, let's yeah, both use a fortune well. point. Surely nothing yeah. bad will happen in the last 30 minutes. Cool. <laughs> um, Your turn. Oh, my turn? Okay. Yeah, we're both using use, it. lose the last one? Yeah, why not, oh, right? What could happen? Am I right, guys? I haven't died three times. Hey! Um, so... As you, um, you get, as you watch, um, you're in a pretty advent- advantageous position. You do not get, uh, the exact numbers um, of of them as you would hope. They are they prove difficult to count um, because they're they're moving. But what you do notice is they don't they've set up some kind of like haphazard barricades, but there's no true uh, like fortifications here. Um, let's see, just success, normal success. Um, so for your success, you do see um, Delilah at some point, um, at, um, you know, as she is like in a maybe some kind of trance, or whatever. She looks okay, dirty, um, but looks fine. And you can see she's actually working with a, a forge and a smith. Um, and is making some like very crude looking weapons out of scrap pedals. Okay. Okay, with that, um, I'm going back. 
Yeah. Um, you can estimate their strength between the two of you. Mm-hmm. It's somewhere between 10 and 15. You didn't see Brutus, but that's like a pretty decent guess you've got. Um, so what other preparations are we going to make for this uh, assault? What other plans? Here's the thing. How many men are we taking with us? Because now we know they're between 10 to 15, right? How many soldiers came with the uh, Grunstar? So, Grunstar, yeah. Five. Also, Five you've recruited plus. 10 to the militia. Yeah, I did recruit 10 to the militia. So technically, we, if we took the whole force, we'd have probably just enough even to make us even. No better way to run out of available men in town. Yeah, that's that's my other concern. Is that they like would leave the the town kind of vulnerable? Just needs more ladies for the Rutherford to get dirty with. <laughs> <laughs> I'm pretty sure there are still a few unmarried women in the town you haven't proposed to, or claimed your dying love for. Oh my god! Could we make more? <sighs> More tough cocktails. <laughs> That's <laughs> not a bad bomb. idea. Can we can we make some bottle bomb? Yeah, sure. Is it dangerous? Can we burn down Is the it... entire forest? Possible. Yeah, I was I was about to say wait, but we're gonna throw it into um, a lead. You mine. can but... you can make bottle bombs. Let me see. Uh, there is actual mechanics for this. Or have you seen? Three amigos. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. I said, have you seen the movie Three Amigos? No. No, sorry. You think about going there in the early morning, like right before twilight and when they're still drinking and uh, burning down their huts while they're, you know, busy. Guys, I got an drunk. idea. What if we construct a um, giant wooden horse? <laughs> Give it as a gift. And I, ride I'm, it. He the... presents you beastman to this giant wooden horse filled with mead. Well, no, you don't, you don't claim it's filled with something. Well, look. <laughs> then they're going to open it to drink it. Well, yeah, they open the little tap in there. Like, you, on the, you know, the screw tap. The well, at that point, why don't we just give them poisoned mead? They're already clearly yeah, I mean, drunk. just find some spider venom and put it in some liquor and then go weave it in the road. Okay, here's another stupid question. Have you guys ever read the comic Crossed? Nah. No. Okay, it's like imagine twenty eight days later, but without instead of like crazy zombies, they're like rapists and murderers. It's just imagine people just become the worst of of anything. It's just horrible. They, like rape you and they love paying themselves. Anyway, one guy, uh, he's done sending all these people, all these crossed people to uh, an island, or they send the living people to this one island, and it turns out the crossed get there at some point. But he also sends, like, uh, shipping containers full of cocaine and everything. Because the people he associates himself with are all, like, crackheads and whatnot. But he laces the cocaine with drugs that will kill anybody. So these people, they do their worst, uh, most base tendencies. So they're automatically attracted to the cocaine. And they kill themselves with it. Same idea with the mead. Yeah, I don't think if we do that, I feel like we should be like, 
he should like dump it in the river. Why? Because then they'll just think, oh, like they just left meat here, and then they'll pick up the the mead by the riverbank. But the river flows I'm south. A whole bunch of liquor and I know. Of that's, I'm just throwing sh shit in the air. <laughs> I'm trying to think of how that would work if we were to do that. Because I think it'd be highly suspicious to be like, oh, they left like barrels of meat in the middle of the world. Well, they're dumb animals. All they're gonna do is drink the meat anyway. <laughs> Where do you think the meat comes from that they've got now? They just steal it. Hell, your family uh, makes uh, this drink and has to ship it somewhere. Just take some of your existing stock, poison it, and then send a shipment up to Scarnsburg. They'll ambush it, take it, drink it all, and kill themselves. See, I thought they were just stealing from the manor itself. Well, then poison all the drink in your manor. Didn't they take it all? They took it all. Literally, yeah, your yeah, family good. makes alcohol. It's how your family is rich. You've got more but... somewhere. Yeah, we for don't sure. have we, time we though. Get it quickly is the problem. Well, literally, I you mean, got to some meat left. The Lucius has it. Lucius definitely has some casks though, for sure. Well, now where are we gonna get venom? Literally, you have time for nothing. You're going to be overtime on anything we plan to do. It's like a famous bard once said, move along. He truly was an all-American reject. Hmm, okay. I don't know what you guys want to do. Want to use the meat idea? I think that's uh, probably our best bet if we get them to, uh, quote, steal the meat that we can, provide for them, can, and we've spiked it ask, in some way. You can ask Matilda, see if she knows the poison. Yeah, good idea. We would need the specific... We would need a venom, not a poison, because the venom kills things. Poison only just, just poisons people. Like, but think about even if they're weakened, that helps you. Yeah, yeah, if they do get like a whole bunch of doses of like, like mandrake or whatever, then they can't make any avoidance tests or whatever. So it's funny you say that since almost every career starts with mandrake. <laughs> I think I have it written down on here. Uh, no, by those are those. good. I uh, for them you need um. It's one of the banes, isn't it? Um. Well, yeah. Every bane is yeah. uh, towards a certain type of creature, though. That I know for no reason. Uh, folk, folk bane. Yeah, folk bane is oh, for yeah. humans or humanoids. I can't remember. Hey, I got some of that off Nash's body. Huh. Wait, Thanks, what? Nash. I didn't. What? <laughs> I didn't have folk bane on my body. Me did. I don't know. I didn't. I don't believe I did. Nash. Uh, I think I it folk. Yeah, it's a nave. It's a nave item. Oh, okay. I was say Nash didn't use poison. Where does that come from? Well, well, he had we, some. <laughs> we've, we've got quite a bit of poison now, and we can get a cask of mead. And we could just give him gold for it, since we've got a big bag of gold. A big I mean, bag of gold. If it doesn't gold. work, we're going to be dead, and we don't have to worry about the tithe anyway. So. Well, how much is a? How much would it be? For what? A cask of mead. A cask of mead, yeah. To buy it from Lucius? Mm hmm. Hold on, I'll let you know what that. Or conversely, the Richter can just say, Give me the mead. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's oh, my yeah. Mead now. I forgot that somebody gifted me with a lordship when I wasn't paying attention. I mean, you could, but technically he's a burger. 
So technically, he owns his me. He owns the. In, in the I mean, you can, but. Oh, so, thank yeah. God! This isn't some sort of dictatorship where you know a ruling nobility has power over the peasantry, or even a middle class. Should some exist oh. at some point? I you certainly can, but. Just, uh, we wouldn't want to upset the one guy who's by himself who can surely not stand up to a guard. No, that's entirely true. No, I still think you should just pay him. Don't just take it. That's, yeah, that's a bad precedent for the rest of the town. I know. You know, so, right? Because you surely intend to stay here for the rest of your life and don't intend to move on so that you could, I don't know, transfer this uh, lordship of this town into something else bigger and greater down the road. Nah, he's simple-minded, remember? Where's Rutherford we're talking about here? Whoa, whoa, don't talk about Grippy that way. There's only one thing in life that matters. The limitations of the women? So, obviously, this... Um... Crap, I just had the... Alright, so Brandy by the keg is 50... Well, this is more like cider, so... Cider by the jar is six um, silver shillings. Cider by the half ton, 12 gold gold uh, coins. So I would say he'd probably sell it to you for six gold coins. All right, cool. I'll buy it. You spent a ninth of your money on how many? One cask? Technically, technically it's the priest's money. Well, no, because you're mixing the priest's money with the uh, the money that... Well, I stole one gold piece from the witch hunter. Sure. And then I stole ten from the priest. I've been robbing a lot of men of God. <laughs> um. Oh, let's see. Uh, and I'm just checking what a half ton actually is. Um... And it's actually three barrels. That's what it looks like. So that would be three barrels of mead for six gold coins. So then it would be two for one. Right? Oh, I'm actually way, way off. Because a ton is actually double the size of a butt and is equal to eight barrels. So he'll say you four barrels for half price. We'll say six gold coins for four barrels. And we have six Folkbane. Put three in two of them and just leave them there in the road, I guess. I don't know, like, tell me, like, how much money? Yeah, we we just need to. I mean, we don't even have to buy all four. We just need one, one yeah. barrel, and we dump all the folk bane we have in there, and then we leave it someplace. I think you got your math wrong. That's like uh, that's over six uh, barrels. No, the time. Oh, sorry, oh, you said half ton, four. half ton. Yeah, sorry. So I say uh, a, a, a half ton is four. So we would sell you four for six gold coins. So a half ton. Because a ton is 224 imperial gallons, which is a little over six barrels. So a half ton would right, have to be about but three barrels. The ton, T-U-N, is 252 imperial gallons for some goddamn reason. Oh, I, I can't differentiate the sound of T-O-N and T-U-N on the face of it. No, that, that's why I posted that, because this is just something fun. Um... It's just like I was just like reading. Really, it's irrelevant. What what we want to do is procure enough so that it looks like an actual shipment that the beastmen would want to take, uh, but not so much that it'll dilute what folk pain we have to the point of being. Uh, I say at least two to three barrels, at least. What even if we can get all four. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, if we can get all four for six gold, I think that's worth What if we can talk to Elja to see if she can mix in her moonshine in there, because apparently that should draw. 
them. Okay, what so that would move them down. You get beast men hyper drunk, though. <laughs> well, they would go down the peril track, right? And then we could add Mandrake, so then they would even go further down the peril track. I mean, because when you But we could just get them so fucked up and drunk that they just pass out, right? If we just put enough Mandrake and. We, we might as well just start a fucking alcohol business and just put. Mandarin, yeah. well, I mean, her family already, funny. her family already has the most successful alcohol business in the region. In fact, they have a monopoly on it. No, you shouldn't oh. stop them starting alcohol business. You're literally in defiance of the law, which then she has to enforce as also the family member with the monopoly. I am the law. I don't know the law. I just make it on the spot. I know, because you've never Such read one law book in your it. life. You don't even know the extent of your own authority. I don't need to even open a book to know what's in it. Yeah, you judge them by their covers. I judge them by the pretty pictures and colors. I mean, oh, okay. <laughs> if we get super drunk, I would be okay with this. Is there a rule about beastmen being super drunk in specific? No, no. I was just adding a point. But if you want to, like, so basically how it works is, is, as you've seen it, when you encounter the beastmen, there's chaos die roll. If it hits a six, they're intoxicated, right? Okay. Um, I would say if you use moonshine as well, I think we'd add extra d6 to that. Ooh. So there would be more chance of them uh, fighting intoxicated and also then be under the effects of the folk thing that you put in it but then you'd have to buy it from elja or get her to hand it over for free i mean i think you should try to get her to hand it over be like hey you want your freedom well this is part of the process because if you still want your land to be here when you come back you don't want these beastmen ruining the land that you're in we need to kill these these things so that you can live comfortably when you have your freedom. Yeah, yeah. I think that should be said. I think a certain person should say this. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan. Get them real fucked up on. Yeah, yeah. I like this plan. <laughs> oh, this is this. There's no way this is gonna end badly. I love it. <laughs> I think we're finally settled on a plan. Yeah, I think we're gonna try to poison, get some poison mead, and see if we can spike it with some moonshine, if we can. Uh, pretend it's, you know, something they steal. Hopefully get super drunk and use it to our advantage. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Um, I think we'll, uh call it there for tonight we have a plan and a next what's going to happen in the next session at least somewhat um in white what might be a uh, military disaster so it's been excellent watching this unfold good good um, we, we got to make sure we put all the poison all of us have into it no matter what it does just to just <laughs> just, just to let you know, throw in some poison ivy in there. Just right. throw in some fucking sticks. <laughs> um, so we're heading to the end of our session. Let's do our experience. Uh, we uncovered a new clue today. Um, so take fifteen for the new. Clue. <sighs> okay. Um, we have a one hundred. Uh, for showing up. Uh, Ramon, were, were we impious or did we commit acts of heresy today? I repeatedly said that the gods were dead. I, I also heard that, so take your, um, take your, your, your XP for... Which is how much? Uh, 25. 25. Um, take your 25 for hitting your 
your marker. Uh, Genevieve, were we diplomatic or a hypocrite tonight? I feel like I feel like both because I I feel like she's feeling diplomatic with Algier at the same time pissing him off. <laughs> no, but yeah, she made maybe. the attempt, right? She tried to be diplomatic uh, with uh, with him and with um, what the hell was her name? Matilda. Matilda, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think so. Uh, Rasmussen, were we a hero, or did we, or did we try to get martyred today? No, neither. Neither. Yeah. Neither. Unfortunate. Man, that's been tough on Rasmussen. That's all right. Um, Rutherford, were we prideful or arrogant today? As always, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, man. Yeah, uh, take your <laughs> take take your whatever your take your filthy points and go. <laughs> um, do we have anyone? Uh, so you're pretty close, right, Rutherford? You're mm -hmm. looking at finishing. Yeah, you're finishing soon. Um, I mean, had you not bought those focuses, you'd be there. Uh, you're finishing pretty soon, so make sure we gotta figure out what the what even the fuck Rutherford's gonna be. <laughs> oh, I know. It's the uh, Reckon Tour. It's literally the description <laughs> of what I've been doing. <laughs> just, uh, using people and like that. What did I even fucking? Man? I'm tired as fuck um, now. Yeah, no problem. Uh, Genevieve, you're also pretty close. Mm -hmm. Um, so we should have a talk uh, about that at some point. I think I think I have a class that fits where Genevieve is going, so I can pitch that to you um, at some other point. I have no clue yet. <laughs> Uh, I'll be like, I want to be a something. <laughs> yeah, I, that's why I have a feeling, like, based on what she's done, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> I have an idea of what, what class I think she should be headed to. Um, pop up, and I gave out no corruption because I, I did not game master well enough. Um, so we can just skip the roll. Uh, take the order rank, and I'll see you guys next week. Yeah. All right. Have okay. a good one, guys. You take too. It right, easy. Guys. Bye.